G'day guys, my name's Wayne Natman and I'm the Regional Director here at God TV for Australasia, looking after Australia, New Zealand, all the way up to Hong Kong and Greater China. Today, I'd like to welcome you to prayer time and invite you to participate with us. We're gonna be believing for victory and breakthrough in people's relationships. So would you take a moment of your day and commit it to the Lord in prayer with me together. So we've got a few prayer requests that have come through. We've got Abby from Taiwan. I've never been in a real relationship and I'm in my early 40s. I need to know if God has the person for me. I need to know how to pray for a husband. Please pray for me to get ready for the right person to meet at the right time at the right place. We'll definitely be praying for you, Abby. And Trang from Vietnam says, please pray for me. My heart is in so much pain right now. The pain of rejection and disappointment in relationships. And I have no one that I can share this with. Please pray for a miracle for my future marriage. Thank you and God bless you. Well, thank you, Trang, for taking the time to ask us to be praying for you, for letting us into this situation in your life. Uh, we will be taking it very seriously and I'm believing God's going to do something wonderful for you. And then we have Sunita from Vanuatu. Please help me pray for my husband. He's an alcoholic and he's always disrespectful towards me. We'll definitely be praying for you and to break that spirit of addiction over his life. He says he loves me, but he never listens to me. I'm asking God to change him to be a loving and respectful husband and father to his children. He hurts me and fights me a lot, but I forgive him and I love him. He's attracted to worldly stuff like girls and stuff. Please help me pray for him. We'll definitely be praying for him, Sunita, in a few moments. Um, I just want to encourage you guys, if you're believing for your future husband or wife, um, or you're in a difficult relationship, sometimes it's great to get guidance from God. I know Ryan Lestrange on God TV, he said, prayer and fasting are power twins. Fasting is the laying aside of food for a set period of time in order to focus entirely on Jesus. There are many different ways to fast. The key is seeking God and discerning which road he's leading you to travel. So there are many of you that are wanting God's direction on where to travel and for that perfect partner to come along. So I would encourage you to maybe consider fasting and prayer. Uh, but today let's pray together and ask God what his will for you is. So Heavenly Father, we just come before you and we pray for Abby in Taiwan. We pray for Trang in Vietnam and we pray for Sunita in Vanuatu. Lord, you know their situation. You know their heavy heart. You know their longings and desires. Heavenly Father, you even know how many hairs are on their head. So we just pray right now that you reveal their direction for their relationships that you reveal it to them in a powerful way, in the way that they'll understand. Lord, we pray for their future partner, that you protect them, that you look after them, that you prosper them, and that you guide them into their lives, that there be a perfect meeting point at the right time, at the right place, as Abby has requested. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Well, I would encourage you guys to continue your prayer and but possibly even fast to see what God has for you. Uh, I'm believing that you're going to have the most powerful, wonderful relationship. Uh, look, the Bible says a little bit about relationships. And I just want to read from Matthew uh, 30, uh, chapter 22, verse 36. Uh, the Pharisees asked Jesus, Teacher, what's the most important commandment in the law of Moses? And Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and the greatest. So I'd encourage you guys to do that. And the second is equally as important, love your neighbor as yourself. And I guess naturally we're all selfish people, but God's calling us to look beyond ourselves to others. So I'd encourage you guys to do that today. Love God, love people, and God will have the perfect plan for your relationship. So we encourage you to connect with us today at God TV. And until next time, may God bless you with every blessing. Bye for now.